and Kostub Belapurkar, who is Director, Fund Research at Morningstar Investment Advisors India, joins us right now on the show to talk about that. I got your name right. Absolutely. Okay, great. Thanks, thanks, the second name thanks. is what I was talking about. Great. Kostub, thanks so much for joining in. I'm Neeraj. Um, let, let, let's talk about what you've seen in the last what, month. Okay. I'm, never, I'm Neeraj. I've never heard that kind of an introduction from <laughs> Neeraj. <I'm> Neeraj. <laughs> <laughs> so, so really what's happened over the last uh, month or so, hmm. uh, we've actually seen a little bit of slowdown in flows into funds, equity funds. Uh, November and December was a flush and a gush of funds coming right, in post huh. the demonetization move. You had almost 20,000 crores of money coming in from domestic investors, which is a huge amount of money. Uh, Jan was a little slow from that perspective, about 3,000 odd crores coming into equity funds. But what really helped was the CPSC ETF that you know raised close mm -hmm. to 6,000 crores. And a lot of money has gotten deployed through that. Uh, if you look at some of the market movement that's happened in terms of what are the stocks that the managers have been buying, Infi has actually been one of the large sort of additions for the month of January. And let's see what happens now uh, post the news that's been it, trickling huh? in. <laughs> uh, but uh, Infi was actually, you know, a little bit of price correction in January. That's, you know, that there's one of the largest holdings uh, for fund managers and they did add positions uh, through January for emphasis. Some of the other additions that you would see uh, were actually some of the CPSC buys. So Indian Oil, which they have been buying, but you know, really the CPSC sort of thousand crores came in through that. Then you had ONGC, uh, you had uh, Coal India, which is prim primarily on the CPSC ETF buying. Mm. Uh, the other stock that really added some positions was ICICI Bank. And we've again been seeing that over the past few months where um, fund managers have been adding ICICI Bank. Uh, and you know, that's kind of you know, if you're the gentleman uh, who came on before, really mirroring the view that, you know, they're expecting the corporate bank uh, sort of to pick up. And that's really where the managers have also been investing, uh, you know, in a, in a counter like ICIC Bank. Uh, what is interesting is some of the mid-cap names that uh, sort of made, so you had, you know, uh, an NVSC like a Chola that got some traction. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's again one of the larger mid-cap holdings. Yeah. Uh, and there was a fair bit of addition around that. Uh, you had something like an Engineers India that came in again, but predominantly uh, on the CPSC buying. Uh, you also had some counters like Jubilant, uh, you know, and IDFC that uh, you know managers did add through the through on on the mid cap side. So that's really from what's been purchased, uh, you know, for the month. We obviously you had quite a bit of sales, and we'd probably come to that. Uh, mm -hmm. So where is it that you've actually seen some selling pressure? Because if one looks at the list of the you know, top buys uh, from within the broader markets mm -hmm. as well as the frontline indexes, you can't really pick up a trend. You know, it's pretty sporadic. It's an odd ICSA bank, engine is in there from broader markets, mm -hmm. infi here and there. What's the trend that you can take away? Is there any sectoral tilt? Etc. that you've noticed? Yeah, I'm, I'm just surprised. No, no, just that to that yeah. question only, if I'm looking at the sales, it, these are all stocks which have actually done reasonably well. TCS mm. has outperformed, yes. Titan yes. has outperformed, Marty has not done too badly. That's that's right. So I, I think with the case with something like a TCS has been more that there's a fair bit of addition that again happened in uh, November and December mm. and there was just some money taken off the table uh, in January. I think a very similar case for Marty where again it's, it is one of the largest holdings for funds you know, amongst uh, the non-bank and the non-IT sort of stocks. And uh, this was just some money being taken off the table. It's been marginal pruning of positions rather than sort of a you know large move out of that. So, uh, Aisha, for your question, I don't think these been, there's been a large sort of broad-based move in terms of uh, what sectors they've moved in. I, I think financial still remains a large part of the pie. I mean, that's that's always been sort of the darling of the uh, sectors uh, for the managers. I think I think Prashant also alluded to it later, uh, earlier that uh, the, you know capital goods, the infra sort of space. The, Certain portions are looking exciting. So, L and T is one of again a fairly large holding in uh, managers' portfolios. That's that's something that's also been seeing some buying off late. Mm. But pharma is where we have seen pricing pressure. But in terms of portfolio churn, the churn has stopped now. Your December data was looking radically different from Jan. Yes. So pharma is the one where the selling has stopped. Yes. So at least for the month of January, we haven't really seen any large sell-offs uh, on the pharma side. The only, uh, well, not really pharma, but more on the healthcare is uh, Dr. Lal Path Labs, which uh, one of the initial, the IPO investors, one of the funds actually exited all their positions uh, in that counter uh, in the month of January. Okay. So if you have to, let's say, draw a straight line for the last three months and say, like, this is one stock where buying only has intensified and which is one stock where selling only has intensified. So I, I would say I think Indian oil has been 
getting a fair bit of buying over the last couple of months for sure, and, and that's okay. really been reflecting. And that's not just this month because of CPSE, but even in the previous few months, we've seen a fair bit of buying on the Indian oil counter that's, that's been happening. Uh, selling is, I think, is a little bit of a mixed bag. I, I think uh, fund managers have already kind of exited some of the positions they wanted. So if you see something like an ITC is lower in terms of where they would want to be on the index, but that's obviously a valuation game that they've kind of stuck to. So there hasn't been any recent selling on the counter, but there haven't been any additions either. What is the data on metals? I'm curious to understand because that's where I think the the chop and churn and the outperformance is there. Okay. So the interesting bit, uh, what we've been seeing, for instance, I can give you examples of Tata Steel, actually saw some buying, and it's been buying through the year. That's a GDFC that's, mutual fund, I think. Yes, that's that's one of the names that's been buying uh, the stock, and that's that's actually been adding a fair bit of positions. In fact, uh, when we're looking at the Tata data, most of the counters have actually, you know, uh, Tata Power was adding through the year, TCS, Tata Motors, they were adding positions. January is a little bit of a different picture, but I think on the steel, Tata Steel has certainly been adding a lot of volume, uh, you know, and, and positions for, for the funds. Continues to be that case in the month of Jan and uh, early signs in Feb too? So Feb, I wouldn't be able to comment because I haven't seen sure. the data yet. It's not out yet, but very definitely uh, there's been maybe a little bit of a slowdown, but it's not, you know, completely gone off the charts. Ma so does it seem like NetLet, sorry, no, going no. by the trends in 2016 and beginning of 2017, me metals as a pack continues to be the hottest sector? Uh, one of the one of the favorites that definitely, so corporate banks uh, and, and metals would probably be amongst the uh, ones where you'd be seeing a lot of uh, inflows coming in. Flow. Okay, so my final question, I mean, we spoke about Chola as being one, but I mean, we all know that NBFCs have been the hot pot when it comes to activity. What's been the data there? Uh, that's something, unfortunately, I'll have to get back but to you. Chola is certainly there. Yes, Chola is certainly one of the topics uh, on the mid-cap counters. Uh, you know, the PSU stocks are outperforming, whether it's ONGC, HPCL, BPCL, even banks. Mm -hmm. One part is largely because of CPC ETF. Mm -hmm. But minus that, what are the funds doing? Are you getting a sense that the domestic guys are buying some of these ugly ducklings? You know, we love to call PSUs as ugly ducklings markets. They love to hit them, <laughs> but they're outperforming. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think... Um, some of the PSU banks, I mean, namely SBI and to a certain extent BOB, was something that, uh, you know, someone like a Prashant moved in early, and a lot of other managers also added positions through late 2015 and 16. Uh, HPCL and BPCL were, you know, other counters that really made a lot of money for the managers, uh, you know, through looking at selling out. Uh, yes, so any, now they're any actually other fund manager, out. any other fund who is doing something which our eyes can't catch, but you managed to identify. For example, you said that Prashant moved early in steel and wholesale banks. Anything which could be called as an AMC trend or a fund manager trend, if you can quickly tell us? Uh, I was just looking at uh, something that, I mean, again, on a mid-cap counter side, uh, Gujarat Gas has seen a fair bit of selling from okay. one particular asset manager. Uh, you can so tell us the name. Uh, DSP BlackRock. So they've actually exited all their positions on that counter, and the overall industry holding is actually halved after this exit uh, by the fund. Oh, splendid uh, data churning. Real fine turn, fine print analysis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is great to have you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And thanks for joining in today. All right. So, well, that was a lot of dope.